Today I'm down at the fantastic float fish farm down here close to Peterborough and I've come down here for a, a spot of margin fishing there's some very very big fish in a, a lot of these lakes and today I'm fishing the Two Island Lake it's full of very very big fish and a lot of these fish are caught down the margins late on in competitions when I say late on, usually the last couple of hours of a match when the fish come into the margins can take you from zero to hero. If you can put a few fish in the net in the first three hours of a match, often you can catch still a big weight in the last couple of hours down the edge and there's been many, many matches won fishing this line in the back part of any match. I'm fishing on peg three on the Two Islands Lake. And the reason why I've selected this peg, it's got a nice margin to it where I can fish about nine to 10 meters away from myself down the bank side. It also plums up nicely for what I wanted to do today. And that was a fish, a two line type match where I'm fishing in quite shallow water close to the bank where the gradient of the slope is not too aggressive it's quite a sort of gentle slope away from the bank and it's this area is quite shallow it's only about maybe a foot to sort of 18 inch deep and this is the ideal place to fish with ground bait the ground bait that I've selected is a very very coarse fish meal type ground bait and I want that ground bait to lay on the floor and not get wafted up by the carp and that in the shallow water you can pot in loose and I'm actually just putting it in the pot loose and also some micro pellets as well along with that and potting it in in the shallow water around about probably only about a couple of foot from the bank side itself. Now this is the area where I expect the biggest fish to come into that shallow swim. But I've also selected an area of the swim a little bit further out from the bank, maybe a metre, maybe even a metre and a half out from the bank, where the depth is quite a bit deeper. Well, it's not a 45 degree type slope, it's a little bit gentler than that. But of course, once you find an area that's around about two and a half foot deep, this is a good area also to fish, to target the carp, a little bit earlier on in, in the afternoon, before they want to come right into the shallow water. Now this is an area that it's very, very difficult to tell you how to feed on different venues. Here today, there's a lot of roach present. And because there's roach present, then your bait selection starts to be slightly different to if there's hardly any silverfish in a lake. And today I started with corn, but roach were a big problem pecking at the corn and pulling the float under the all the time on this line away from the bank side. So again, this line I changed over. I started off fishing with corn on just a nice strung out rig that I could lay down the ledge. So I was fishing a good six inch over depth, but only with a 0.3 size float, an AS3 float. Now this float, I were actually just pulling the corn onto the shelf, onto the gradient and holding against the corn. This tactic can be fantastic when there's no roach present, but today it was almost impossible to fish with these tactics because of the roach that were present. So I had to change this line from corn to pellets, started feeding six mil hard pellets and fishing with an eight mil banded pellet. Again, the rig I had to change as well. I, I set up a, a slightly heavier 0.4 type rig in an AS2, which again will support an eight mil pellet and fished it just slightly over depth on this line out from the bank where it was round about again two foot six deep. This line I also fed with a big pot to start with to get some pellets down on the deck and then just used a cup, just a, a small cup on the pole to feed six mils and an odd eight mil in this area. 
Elastic choice again for these margin fish is fishing with a pink type bungee or even the red bungee. A strong elastic is paramount because once you hook these fish you don't want them to get speed up from the bank side. Once you hook them often they bolt out from the bank and your elastic needs to be powerful enough to slow them down. If a carp gets speed up any carp, even sort of five, six pound fish, if they get speed up on you, they will break even or 20 line. So it's, it's important to fish with the right grade of elastic. So once you hook them, you can start to ship back and put pressure on the fish to stop it running away from you. And that's a great, great tip. If you allow fish to get up speed, they will break you. So tighten that elastic onto the fish once you've hooked it down the margin. Once I'd caught a few fish in the deeper water with pellets, I then started to concentrate on the inside line in the shallower water. You knew the fish were coming in, you could see odd tails and and, and vortexes in the swim. And it was after sort of two o'clock time, it was very easy to catch these fish. And each fish I caught, I then potted in a mount of ground bait and micros and just a few grains of corn over the top after each fish. And once I got catching in the margins, I finished up staying there for most of the session, catching all the carp on bunches of worms, two and three big dendrobinas. I've not done lots of this summer type fishing because often I've been away on international type duty. But my lad Oliver has, has had some fantastic weights fishing the afternoon competitions at Airfield Lakes. And he's given me some great pointers. I can learn off people, so watch this video and hopefully you'll learn a little from me today.